Let's talk about saving your Excel 2007 workbook files. Now, saving files is a pretty simple process, but there are a few things to keep in mind, and there are a few changes from earlier versions of Excel to Excel 2007. First of all, as you see here on the screen, when you go to save an Excel 2007 file, and I used it as an example here, my file name is sample file name, you're going to get a period at the end of your file name followed by the four characters XLSX. This is the new file format for Excel 2007. Prior versions of Excel, Excel 2003, Excel XP 2000, version 97, would assign just three characters for Excel workbooks when you save the files. And those three characters were XLS. So this is a, a distinct difference and something to keep in mind particularly if you're going to save your files that you create in Excel 2007 and share them with folks who might be using earlier versions of the program. Now to save this file, I can go ahead and locate the disk or the save icon on my quick access toolbar. Control S is the keyboard shortcut. And for a file that has not yet been saved yet, if I go ahead and click on that disk icon, that will take me into the Save As dialog because I have not yet specified a meaningful file name for this workbook. Now here in this screen, you have a column of choices on the left. What you see here, in terms of how this screen is laid out, will vary based on the version of the operating system you're using. I'm running Microsoft Windows XP Professional. You might have an earlier or a newer version of Windows, so keep that in mind. Here are the options of where I can save to, my recent documents, I can save to my desktop, which is the main level of my computer, the main screen. I can save this new file into the My Documents folder. I can save them somewhere onto my computer where I specify a folder or a letter drive. Maybe I want to save it to a backup media, an external hard drive, a thumb drive, or elsewhere. And then if you're in a business or an organization where you have a network set up, you might want to save your file to a network a letter network drive. Here I'm going to choose My Documents. Now notice below, Excel will pick up the existing, in this case, generic file name. It will also assign the period followed by XLSX, which is again the format for Excel 2007 workbook files. I can highlight what's in that field and I can type in whatever I want my file name to be. Uh, say this is going to be Sales Projections as my file name. So as I type that in there, uh, keep in mind that you have up to over 200 characters you can use for your file names in Excel. Uh, certain characters are reserved. You can't use certain forms of punctuation. So uh, just keep it simple, but make sure your file name is meaningful enough so that when you locate that file later on on your system, you'll know what that file contains. I do not need to type the period or the XLSX here in the file name field. Notice below that in the Save As Type field, it specifies for me. It's saving this file as an Excel workbook, and it's going to give it the .xlsx ending. Uh, if I were ready to go, I would click on Save. But just to show you first off the options you have in the Save As Type field, if I click this little drop down here, I have other options. I can save my Excel workbook as a macro-enabled workbook, binary workbook, as an earlier version of Excel for folks that might have a problem opening up Excel 2007 files. And I have a few other options here in this screen. Now you can default all your workbook files to save automatically in the earlier format, but that will create a limitation and prevent you from using the full enhanced capabilities that come with the Excel 2007 product. I'm going to go ahead and select Excel workbook, the first choice, and click on Save. Now my file's been saved. I can confirm that by looking up at the top of my screen in the title bar where I see the file name I just assigned along with a .xlsx file ending or file extension. From this point forward, if I make additional changes or edits to this file and I click on Save, that will automatically save and overwrite my Excel workbook with the new changes I've made. Instead of clicking on the Save icon on the Quick Access toolbar, you might prefer instead to click on the Microsoft Office button. There you see you have an option for Save, as well as an option for Save As. 
Hovering over the Save As button gives you several options over on the right. And Excel Workbook would save your file as an Excel 2007 workbook file with the .xlsx ending. If you need to save your document in a format that folks with earlier versions of Excel can open, you have the option to save it as an Excel 97 to 2003 workbook file. Um, one of the issues with doing that is going to mean that you're not going to be able to utilize the full functionality and the enhancements in Excel 2007. Now I'm going to show you what a file looks like if you receive a file created in an earlier version. All right, this Excel workbook was created in Excel 2003. If I look at the top of my screen in the title bar, I see the file name along with the XLS ending. I also see the words compatibility mode. That means that Excel, this version, or the document created in an earlier version of Excel, is running in a mode that would enable me to view it and work on the file, edit the contents, make additions, make changes, or so forth. But while it remains in that earlier Excel file format, I'm not going to be able to use a number of the features that I have available to me on my ribbon. And if I try to use some of the features on my ribbon and I go to save the file, I might find out that there is an incompatibility or a compatibility problem. And what you might want to do if you have that situation is you can click on your office button, you can come down to the prepare option, and then you can run the compatibility checker. And what it says here is it will check for features not supported by earlier versions of Excel. So although in Excel 2007 you can easily work on an Excel 2003 workbook, if you try to make some edits using some of the features that are exclusive to Excel 2007, you won't be able to save those changes into your file. If I click on this, it's going to run, and in this case it tells me there were no compatibility issues. But if I applied, for example, conditional formatting, or if I tried some other uh, uh, enhancements or formatting options, I might find out when I run that compatibility checker that I can't run them or save them into this workbook.